Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers. This video will be called Cheesy Piper Blends, How Do I Blend? Because last time I didn't show you what method I use and I haven't seen many people really do it online. All I've seen is people hand mixing their tobacco and this isn't included in the infusing process I do as well. So to begin with, I've been smoking, well this video is before, is going to be, I want some intermediate videos before the next big cheese, tobacco and wine sampling tasting video that I'm going to do where I taste the blends from the last video that I've been making and working on. They're not quite finished yet so when they are we'll do that video but for now um, for the past few days I've been smoking Scottish Autumn Flake just a raw Virginia and it, as delicious as it has been and it's been delicious except there was yeah as delicious as it's been and I haven't had the problem either of uh, Samuel Garwith's going out on me in my house it's fine but I took it out to an open mic night last night and I, I was lighting the pipe every few minutes or seconds. It's basically a problem and I would not do that again. I would, even though I dried it out actually, I would make a blend. So I'm going to make a blend now and I dried it out because I knew I was going to take it out and it was still a problem. But in the house, I smoked it straight out of the tin. And it wasn't a problem. So that's that. Um, but with the blend we're going to make today, we're going to use it straight out of the jar, tin to jar. So that is moist. And I think, I think it smokes slower, tastier, probably cooler. Even though they say when it's moist it smokes hot, but I don't know. So this is how I blend. I use a box. I'm a box blender. I don't know if that's the thing, but that's what I do. So I originally just put my pipe tobacco in this box when I first bought a pipe and got tobacco from my local shop. And I just put it all in here. I had like three different blends just and I just pull them out and smoke them. And now I've realized I can do this, which I've done already. This is how I make my blends. So we'll start with, let's go for like the base, so we'll go with Latakia, so we'll just pop this in the box, man that smells so good, I think I'll use quite a bit of it, well, actually I'll save some for future blends I'm going to make. the Turkish blend which I don't think actually has Turkish delights in now that I've researched a bit more but it really smells like it's something very Turkish apparently it's just straight tobacco though but I'd, I'd like to know more about that one if anyone knows what how they make the Turkish differently if it's the soil or the whatever please let me know and then the Scottish Autumn Flakes so Virginia and I have been smoking it on its own out of respect for the blender and it is that it's my favorite tobacco and even though some people said they were disappointed about it and I'm also like just opening the flake back into leaves so it's like ribbon rather than like crumbling it because when you roll it, I've noticed it just turns into like small crumbs, they're not like ribbons and I think the ribbons bend and create air pockets and just burn better in the pipe kind of like rolling tobacco, they leave in thin ribbons so This will just take a minute. 
Um, if anyone has any recommendations for wine, cheeses or tobaccos for the, the review coming up that I'm going to do, please let me know. Oh, that's probably enough. Anyway, I'll do for now. So now what I do is you put the lid on and you shake it. And you just give it a little stir around. And there you have it. A blended tobacco. A cheesy piper blend. I focused more on um, a th just a, a ratio of just thirds this time, but the first time I only did like like a twenty five percent Latakia, twenty five percent Turkish, and fifty percent Virginia. But this time I think it's more than that. But I want it to be, because I'm going to name this blend uh, Museum Mystery, because the Latkia in there, the Virginia for the like the Sherlock Holmes taste, and uh, the Turkish giving it like well, there's like sometimes Oriental things in museums, and it's quite a mysterious taste, and the Latkia is obviously like a Halloweeny museum something's gone wrong taste so yep that's the museum mystery I'll have a smoke of that now and let you know what I think because I haven't tried the Virginia but that's why I added the Turkish and I think I've actually realized it's a quite a common blend I've like looked at the tins of the the actual like the branded blends, and they are comprised of pretty much what I've done. Like a Virginia in the middle, and like a a hot beer in one, and like a cool one. Well, that needs a bit more Turkish and Virginia, I think. And then once I do that, I'm going to smoke it for the next few days and it's going to be good to go. I'll have to label the tins, get some stickers and the jars and uh, write Museum Mystery on one and write the ratios so I never forget what I've done because I actually really like this blend. It's my favourite so far. But I do just love straight Virginia like definitely love that coming from I used to smoke cigarettes so that might be why as a pipe smoker a new pipe smoker and just straight away like the non-oriental non-aromatic stuff so yeah until the next video happy piping hold your horses pipe smokers I just want to add this one last thing The blend is now sitting on the windowsill under the sun. Ten minutes in the box. I'll just smoke out of that box for the next few days now. And um it's just smoking fine now. And all I did was add a bit more Turkish and Virginia. It's still the same blend. And I wanna share one method I use actually. It is the breath method, but sometimes I don't use my nose. I don't breathe. I just kind of bring the smoke into my mouth and blow it back down through the pipe, kind of massage it and blow it out and then exhale and you get the most flavor.
that's how to get the most flavour. And the breath method is great for keeping it up, so thank you Martin Chuck Piper. Because you, I've heard of other people, but you shared that in like all your videos. And um, one other, more other thing I do, which I haven't seen people talk about. You hear that? I'm like, using my tongue to like kind of pull pressure and it just like That's the other way to get the most flavour. But it's a little bit hot, so only do it when it's cool enough to do it. Until my next video, I want to wish you and your families happy piping.